Today's topic is environment, class seven, chapter number one. Environment is the basic life support system. It provides the air we breathe, water we drink, and food we eat. All are the parts of environment. So that the place, people, things, and living organism, all are called environment. Let us see. Environment is our surrounding. That things we see and use for everyday activities. Even from a small sheet of paper to big, tall building, all are the part of environment. Here, students, you see the classroom. Here, you see bench, table, desk, book, copy, pen, pencil. All are the part of environment. In this picture, you see the newspaper, mountain, river, trees, building. All are the part of environment next question is that is the component of environment component of environment there are three type three parts of uh, environment number 1 that is natural Second one is human and human made. There are three component of environment that is natural, human and human made. See the diagram. In this picture, you see the natural environment. What is natural environment? You see the water. that is also known as hydrosphere air that is known as atmosphere land it is known as lithosphere and living things that is known as biosphere all are the part of natural environment next you see the human environment human environment consists of the human beings from individual to big community all are the parts of human environment here we see individual family community religion educational institution economics organization and political situation all are the parts of human environment next one is human made environment with the skill technology creativity and human brain make change the environment and make the human made environment for their suitability that is building park bridge road industries and monument all are the parts of human environment next we came to the natural environment it is consists of two type of things that is known as biotic and abiotic biotic means so living things what are the living things which have life that such as animals and plant all are the part of biotic environment abiotic means non living things that like soil air water book copy mobile whatever you see those who will which have no life that is known as abiotic component this is these are the two parts of environment now let us we combine it that the component of environment is environment are divided into three parts natural environment land made environment and human environment in natural environment we are study about lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere and biosphere and human made environment building bridge road vehicles whatever you see now human are making that's all are the human made environment and the human environment who make the environment change that are individual family community nation and society all are the parts of human environment next we start the natural environment natural
in natural environment. Natural environment is divided into four parts, lithosphere. Hydrosphere. Atmosphere. And biosphere. These are the four important parts of the natural environment. Whatever nature gives us that are known as natural environment. Here we see the atmosphere that is air, hydrosphere, water, biosphere, where all the three spheres interact with each other and lithosphere. All are the part of natural environment. Let us we study one lithosphere. What is lithos what is environment and natural environment? The surrounding of or the condition, the surrounding and condition in which a person, animal, or plant live. That is environment. Natural environment is our basic life support system. It provides us the basic essential life, things like air, water and food. This is how we see a view of a natural environment. Next, we came to the lithosphere. Lithosphere, what is lithosphere? Lithosphere is the solid crust of the earth. That is known as lithosphere. Lithosphere is made up of hard rocks and a thin layer of soil that is known as lithosphere. The solid top layer of the earth crust is known as lithosphere. It comprises with the uh, landform. There are a variety of landform, mountain, plains, plateau, uh, desert, all are the parts of lithosphere. And it is, it is important for human being that such provide us for living, agriculture, animal grazing, making building or settlement, opening industry, all are all things that we are doing that in the lithosphere. Land that provide us for the settlement, land that provide us for the agriculture activity. That is known as lithosphere. Next portion is hydrosphere. Hydro what means water. Hydrosphere is referred to the water. And it comprises the various sources of water. Uh, that, that is different types of water body. It may be the river, lakes, oceans, seas, uh, all the uh, all all the etc. Whatever small pound, it is also a part of hydrosphere. And it is very necessary for living organism. Next, we will see the atmosphere. Atmosphere is the thin layer of the. Uh, air that surround us, it is a blanket of air which help us, it is consist of different type of gas, uh, water vapor and dust particle and atmosphere have different layer. In next chapter we study this different layer of the atmosphere. In this chapter we only know that atmosphere protect us from the uh, ultraviolet rays of the sun and scorching heat of sun. That is the importance of atmosphere. In atmosphere, we get the most important thing that is carbon dioxide and oxygen. Both are important uh, for us. Already you know that photo in photosynthesis, the carbon dioxide needed and we exhale carbon dioxide and we uh, inhale uh, oxygen. At the same time, plants also uh, give us oxygen and take carbon dioxide. That's why the balance is maintained. Next portion is biosphere. This is the most important uh, portion of the earth. That, that's made the earth is a unique planet. Only the earth is a planet where the survival of life uh, have that due to that biosphere. Because in this sphere, all the three parts, atmosphere, bio, uh, uh, hydrosphere and uh, uh, atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere mix with each other and uh, 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 contain the life. Plant and animal kingdom together make the biosphere and living world. It is a narrow zone. In this zone where land, water and air interact with each other, this zone that makes the earth a unique planet because only the life exists in this planet. This is the most important part of the uh, in planet like earth. 
Next question that is one of the important question that is ecosystem. Whatever nature give us, whatever nature give us that is free of cost. We have not to pay any single penny for that system. That ecosystem is a balanced system. In this system, all plant and animal are interdependent with each other. And the immediate surrounding, they also, there is a relation between the living organism as well as relation between the organism and their living, living and non-living things. With that, because uh, here we see the ecosystem of a uh, plant community, a habitat and all these, here we also see a one ecosystem that water, soil, living organism and this ecosystem is a very important part of our life because uh, in this system, without this system the food chain and balance cannot be survived. We cannot survive without that ecosystem. Ecosystem includes all the living things, that is plant, animal, organism, and the interacting with each other and so they are living in environment. Weather, earth, sun, soil, atmosphere, climate, all are dependent in their ecosystem. Here we say the fresh water aquatic ecosystem, the grass and plant that are producer, grasshopper eat that, frog consume the second order, and the snake consume that frog, and frog then the uh, hawk consume the snake. That is the food chain. Even one of them are uh, is extinct. Then the system, the balance, this uh, balance of this ecosystem are disbalanced and we are threat to survive. So we need to make the ecosystem balance well. Next, uh, our, another component is human and human made. Human and human made. Human and human made, human environment concern all the human from small individual to the big family, community, organization, political institution, all are the part of human being. And they human environment and this human environment makes all the natural environment to change. At the beginning of the civilization, human beings are so led a simple life. They, whatever nature gives, they adapt with them. But later on, human invent will. Then fire, human invent fire, will. Then produce and surplus production. Then started commerce, butter system. And all these things, all these things, make the human environment change. Butter system, what is butter system? Butter system is, butter system, what is butter system? Butter system is one type of system where the foods are exchanged. In primitive time, people have no exchange, uh, medium of exchange. So they use the butter system, uh, they gave one item and take one item. That is known as butter system. But later on, humans started medium of exchange as the coin, gold coin, silver coin, copper coin. Then uh, today we use uh, rupees and, and present we are in living in a digital world where we use all, all the things, maximum things of our life in online with uh, ATM or credit card etc. After the, the human invention, all these things, transportation in uh, transportation begin and transportation makes the human more easy and faster. Like after that in invention of information technology and digital world, we are so speedy and makes the world to us. Today world is so sinking. We each and every moment we came to the no every every uh, incident happening in the world, within a minute we came to know all these things. Due to that human made in human due to the human activities. 
human uh, we learn human brain skill technology creativity human are made so many element that begins their life more uh, more easy more comfortable and they modify their so natural environment and suit as their whatever they like or want and at that rest of the that human trade the environment human trade the environment that is so many factories farms are uh, industry open after the industrial revolution human made human are tremendously growing and that makes the human to challenge human environment that uh, pollution global warming weather changing environment changing all are the part of human life major problem of this today's world is that that the difference between how nature think what and what we think that is the most important part of the today's world that whatever nature wants from us and whatever we do that is, there is no balance so we are facing so many problem today's world that such one of the that that uh, example is the man made things makes fumes that the pollute the air and uh, that uh, air air pollution is so high that we are facing global warming weather change weather changing that is that is one of the most important factor so we need to learn how to live with the natural environment and make a balance between these two things so at last we are recapitulate the topic that whatever we learn that is that is uh, meaning of the environment we know that we need environment of our life support system without environment we cannot survive and the uh, component of environment there are three component natural human and human made and this uh, component natural component combined with biotic and abiotic things and natural component are have lithosphere atmosphere biosphere and hydrosphere this is the major domain of the environment and the ecosystem and food chain are the most important part of our environment they make us to survive and last one is human environment we the human being are most important part of the environment because we are change the environment so changing may be such way that we are coexist with natural environment nature whatever nature give us we have to learn to make balance with the nature and the environment and with that we can survive thank you very much